Hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing good today. Let me go ahead and get those colors running down below and explain what I got going on here. I got a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It is a pre-stretched and double prime canvas. I went ahead and used some gray gesso and some black gesso and I made this design right here. And I did allow that to dry. And then I applied some clear medium, the Brandon Thomas NTO and Brandon Thomas Amazing White Medium up top. And I am using Brandon Thomas brush line. And the paints on my palette and from here going forward are going to be Gamblin 1980. And so that's, uh, that's going to be the brand I'm going to be using from here on out. Really, really enjoy it. Okay. And so what I went ahead and did is just tapped in some of the some of my blue, which is the phalo blue, and I'm just putting it in, putting it in the sky right here, okay? And if you're painting along, I want to thank you very much. And of course, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel. And uh, hopefully we'll have a beautiful outcome at the end. And I hope you're having a great, great spring so far. And let's rock and roll. Okay, and so basically I just as usual, just doing my, my net X's like so, okay? But I just started off in my corner and I'm gonna just bring it on down. And there you go, just a, just a lovely, lovely blue sky today. Just a lovely blue sky. I'm gonna go ahead and paint, a little hair, paint right on over this, okay? And let's see. I'm we'll bringing it into. Just want to lighten it, dark, dark, light, 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 all the way down, down to here, okay? And now I'm just going to go ahead and just blend it, just using that same brush. I don't have a lot of paint, but that's why I like this gambling. I mean, it's just got a lot, a lot of pigment in it. They use the same pigment in the Gamblin uh, 1980 line as they do in their artist line. So, I mean, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal paint. And that's, uh, that's why I'm just going to go with it from here on out. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use a number six fan brush. I'm going to go right into my white here. Go right into my white. And I'm just going to do a touch of this Mars black. And so I did change some colors on here, and I'll, I'll talk to you about, about just a second here. Well, I'm going to do... Uh, some dark and then some white. And I think we'll just start right here. Just come in. And I'm just, I don't know, I'll use the side angle. I'm just letting the brush, the brush do its thing, okay? And that's pretty much it. Just There we go. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just get some little extra white into here. And I'll just come back. So we got some shadow and we got some of our lighter color. And maybe. Just like that. Maybe a little bit. There we go. So we got some nice, nice movement. I'm going to go ahead and put this down, and I'm going to grab a. Uh, I'll just go with a two-inch, two-inch brush, and I'll just start to blend this out. Just using some nice, just some nice tight circles down here on the bottom. There we go. There we go. And I'm just, just. Blending it in. I'll go ahead and maybe give a little flufferoo. A little flufferoo. Wait, a little hair. Right. And then. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice, beautiful, beautiful sky. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use my number 10 palette knife. Let's go ahead and mix some color. So we're going to mix, mix a little bit of this white right here with uh, some of my Hansa yellow. 
So this Hanson yellow is a beautiful, beautiful yellow, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to be sticking with that instead of using the CAD. I mean, I might use the CAD here or there, or the uh, lemon, lemon light. Um, but I, I love this Hanson yellow. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to add just a touch of this sap green into this. Let's see that color, and maybe a little bit more. All right, and then just a touch of this blue. Maybe a touch more. Oops, there we go. So the three colors is uh, that I changed is the uh, the Mars black, Napathol red, and this Hansa. Okay, or Hansa, Hansa yellow. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more, a little bit more yellow into this. Maybe I just even a tad bit more. There we go. And I'm clean this knife. And I'm just gonna use my two-inch brush, and hopefully this comes out. We'll see. We'll go ahead and tap in on both sides here, and let's go. And then, so right here, I'm going to go right here. And I'll do this right here as well. Usually I'll put the tape there because I just can't never get a straight line, but I'll just do the best that I can. There you go. There we go. And I want to add just a touch more of the yellow. Just a touch more of that yellow into here. And then maybe just a touch of that blue. It's just a little too green. Just want a little bit, a little bit, a little bit bluer. Yeah, add a little bit more. Remember, a little at a time, a little at a time. Just these paints, man, they, they're very, very strong, so. There we go, that's a little bit better. As always, always mess up somewhere. There we go. Okay. But there you go, nice, beautiful, beautiful looking beach there. Just want to blend that in it's a little. There we go. There we go. Nice, beautiful, beautiful scene there. Let's go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna grab my palette knife, and I'm gonna go into into my white. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start to put in just a little bit of wave action here. And I'm just gonna just touch, kind of slide it. There we go. There we go, something like so. We'll give you some nice action. Just gotta touch, touch, touch. There we go. There we go, just like that. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead. I want to start putting in like maybe a little bit of a wave crashing here. There we go. And then another nice little wave right here. Just like that. There you go. Just like that. Beautiful, huh? Maybe a little bit, maybe just a tad bit more right here. Right here, see? There you go. All right, let's go ahead. Let's 
go ahead and continue. Just keep rocking and roll. Thank you again. If you you know if you're painting along, I hope you're having some success with this. And if you've never painted before, please go get some equipment. You, you'll really enjoy it. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. I want to mix up a, a nice little sand color. So I'm going to take a take my white. I'm going to put it I guess right here. And then I'm going to add a touch a touch of the yellow ochre to it. And a touch of that Hansa yellow. All right. Well, let's see what we got. We'll see what color we have, and we'll go with that. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a detail brush. I'm gonna use my uh, number one detail round, and gonna go ahead and start loading, loading up into here. And let's rock and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and just let me get a little bit of dark in here. So I'm gonna go a little bit of brown, just a little bit. That in here. There we go. Just a tad bit of brown. You always gotta play with your colors until you get get what you're looking for. Let's put some here right now, and I'll put some over here. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go back into this color here. And I may, may need to add a little bit more stuff, but just a little at a time, okay? And then I'm just going to come in here and just start... Just like that. There we go. Some more. Add a little something here. Come up. There we There we go. Just like that. Just like that. There we go. There we go. Something like that. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit more yellow to this. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I'm on an angle, so it's hard for me to see the lay of the land here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I want a little bit more detail, so I'm gonna go and use my number three fan brush. Right into the same pile, same pile.
There we go. There we go. Thing. There we go, just like that. Sorry for not talking, I'm just trying to think about where to put this. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of blend this out a little bit. back okay let me go back into this little detail brush here and I'll just get some extra little pockets and then we'll go ahead and probably blend that in there as well but here we go There we go. Just trying to make these little, just little grooves and stuff in the sand. So there's some action, you know, stuff like that, as you can tell. Maybe a little bit more over here. And to be honest, I probably should do this at the very end because I'm still going to have to put some dark on here. But it gives you an idea. It gives you an idea. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Let me grab a... I'll just use this uh, number three fan brush right here, and we're going to go ahead and mix in some color, some nice dark color. So I'm going to go just use this little thing right here. I'm going to go ahead and mix up some black, just put there, and some of my green. So just some black and some green. And I'm going to go ahead and just just load this up. Let me put this other fan brush down so I don't get myself into trouble there. All right. Now I'm just going to come in and start doing my thing. Okay, so I'm just, just pulling and, and that's it. there. Something like that. Something like so. There we go. So got some nice stuff, and then I'll just there we go. Just underneath, it'll give it like a little bit of a shadow there. See? There we go. There we go. Then 
There we go. It's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and start using the liner brush here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just let me see what I can get with the dry brush. Okay. Yeah, let me go ahead and thin this out. Just trying to see what I can get with the dry brush. It's just not enough, not enough on here. So a little, a little bit of your paint thinner. There we go. And just find some spots. And get your get your spots in there. Just make sure that paint's paint's thin. This way it will move. This way it'll move. There we go. More little spots here. There we go. Some nice little spots there. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get some some of the yellow ochre here. I'll mix it right into this color right here. And I'm just thinning it down. And let's go ahead and get some of these guys in here. Make sure it's thinned out or it's not going to slide. It's not going to give you the lines that you're looking for. There we go. Just yellow ochre, some white, and thinned out, thinned out with the paint, paint thinner. There we go. There we go. Same thing here. Yeah, a couple more with this color and we'll try a different spot. There we go. Over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and thin that out. Give me one second. Clean out the. Uh... Let's go ahead and mix a little bit of our yellow with some of our sap green. We we'll get a nice color there. Oops. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and thin that out as well with some some of our paint thinner. We'll see what comes up. We might have to add some. I'll go with this and then we'll add some some white to it. Trying to get different colors here. There we go. There we go. Just like that. And we will add some white to that so we can have some, some other colors. Make it a little bit brighter. There we go. Little spots here, there. There we go. There we go. 
thin that out. I'm add a little bit of my paint thinner, or excuse me, not paint thinner, my uh, white medium into it, so it's going to be a little bit, even a little bit brighter. And then same thing. There we go. It's the tedious part right here. Just putting these little little lines in, but there we go. All right, that's not too bad. I'll put that down. I'm just going to grab this filbert brush. And I want to just Let's fix up some stuff a little bit. There we go. There we go. Let me go ahead and thin out some of my white here. Oop, there we go. And let's go ahead and put a nice bird right there. And maybe There we go. And now I'm going to go into my, I'll just use this dark mixture that we had. Actually, I probably should, let me go ahead and I'll just use, uh, I'll just use my straight, straight Mars black. It's always the difficult part for me. Uh, always, it's always a difficult part. All right, and I'll put a little, little something like so. Yeah, I'm gonna take uh, I'll take this dirty, dirty brush. I'm just gonna go into here just so I can make a shadow color, just a little shadow color, and I'll just put a shadow right there. So, I do have this Napathol red that I did not use, so I'm going to go ahead and try to maybe just find a, just a, a little use for it. So I'm going to add a little bit of my uh, white medium to this red. And maybe we'll just put a, a couple of flowers. There's a couple. Of there we go. Maybe just a couple right here. a couple here there try not to overdo it so I'll just leave it at that right there and with that I'm going to go ahead and I'll just use my uh my white paint here I'll just thin out some of my white paint here actually you know what I just want to put one one last little thing in one last little thing in let's go right into here Let 
maybe something like that. Maybe another one. There you go. Let's make it a third. Make it a third one. Maybe this one is flowing that way, right in front of it. There we go. Just little, don't have to do much, just little taps. Use that white with thinned out with some paint thinner. And actually, let's see what this comes out. I might just sign it in black. No, I'm going to go with the white. There we go. It's coming out. Just remember to keep that paint nice and thin. And it will slide right on over this. There we go. Well, mates, we made it here to the very end. Absolutely beautiful seascape painting. Really hope you enjoyed it step by step. As always, if you enjoy everything, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I want to wish you the best. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye-bye.